The House of Representatives has charged the newly appointed service chiefs to intensify the fight against the persistent security threat in the country and across the globe. Those screened included uh, the Chief of Defense Staff, the Nigerian Army, uh, Air Force, and also uh, the Navy, plus TV Emmanuel A. Jenner filed in this report as presented from our studios. In attendance, well, no, Chairman, I House Adult Committee on the Screening, Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson, in his opening remarks, said wars are not only fought on the land, sea, and air alone, but also in the cyberspace. He urged members of the armed forces to adhere strictly to the provisions of the Appropriation Act and work in synergy by sharing intelligence for effective operations. To the nominees, I urge you to kindly cooperate with the National Assembly while performing your constitutional duties of ensuring a peaceful, secure, and prosperous country for all Nigerians. In the course of this screening, we shall be asking pertinent questions that concerns our constituents and Nigerians in general. In their separate remarks, the service chiefs pledged to transform the nation's armed forces and lead it into a world-class professional body. The broad outline of my leadership concept shall be to nurture a professional armed forces of Nigeria that is people-centric, capable of meeting its constitutional responsibility in a joint and collaborative environment. We are aware that the challenges we are facing is not cannot be handled by one person or one service. It's a joint effort. Accordingly, my leadership concept will be hinged on three pillars which include being people-centric. The people must, understand, must believe that we're there for them. Prioritizing truth, welfare, which is critical because a happy soldier or a happy airman or a happy seaman will give you the best. While deepening jointness and interagency cooperation. This is an open secret that our country has faced the challenging security environment in the past two decades, which has impacted adversely on our socio-economic and political lives. The episodic crisis of the past have now become enduring, thereby making governance and the rule of law more challenging for successive administrations. Today's painful reality is that insecurity has distorted our developmental plans and aspirations of a strong, prosperous, globally competitive, and influential nation. The service chiefs and the lawmakers then went into executive session to continue the screening process. This final screening process by the House of Representatives finalizes the process before the service chiefs are finally confirmed to serve. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.